The government's taken away the power of a choice once again. The illegal incandescent light bulbs. Hey folks, welcome to the second episode of Daniel Fixes Crap in His Kitchen. Today, actually, we're not going to fix anything per se, but we are going to have an informative rant on a subject that is near and dear to me and something that you might end up being interested in as well. It has to do with something so fundamental to our day-to-day -day culture and the way we carry out our lives, and that's the illumination, the whole concept of, of light and light bulbs since the 1880s. I mean, that's a long time for the incandescent bulb to be glowing warmly in the homes of millions of Americans and everyone else in the world, but here in America, that's all coming to an end. And it's nonpartisan, but actually it's kind of partisan. Let's do a history of what brought us to the incandescent bulb ban in 25 seconds or less. So in 2007, President George W. actually signs the Energy and Independence and Security Act, which will eventually ban high wattage bulbs. Then in 2017, Obama comes along and he's like, oh, actually, you can't have any incandescent bulbs anymore. And so naturally in 2019, Trump comes along and he says, uh, I like the way incandescent bulbs make me look. So I'm gonna undo Obama's expansion of the definition of these banned light bulbs. And so of course in 2022, Biden comes along and undoes what Trump did, which undoes did what Obama did. So now we're back to the Obama things, which says kaput on all incandescent bulbs. They're evil. They're bad. They use up too much electricity. This is all great in theory. Now the actual concept of energy independence is a noble and beautiful concept. I mean, tons and tons of metric tons less of carbon emissions and pollution into the atmosphere because of less power needed from the power plants driving these evil, energy-hungry, incandescent bulbs. But the legislation also really misses the mark. See, there's this thing called everybody loves to save money. What, what's, the, what's the first thing that LED lighting technology touts? All the money that you'll save because the LED bulbs will last for 22,000 hours and they'll just last forever and you'll save so much money because you're spending less money on energy. This would be great if it was true. We're gonna look at some incandescent bulbs, we're gonna look at some LEDs and what I think about them, and we're gonna look at why this stupid, ineffective legislation just completely misses the mark. This is a topic that's always been near and dear to my heart. Um, when I was a little kid growing up with my, at my parents' house, uh, we had Dan's Disco in the basement. That was fun. Um, now I have a backyard that has, I don't know, 10 or 20 different circuits just for the lights that are part of the, the backyard ambiance that can be selected at any given time. So this stuff is important, but I think it's important for everybody. And so we're gonna, we're gonna look at why that is. So as we enter this new dark age, this new brave new world that the wonderful federal government has been designing for us just bit by bit, um, we're gonna look at some of the bulbs that um, I chose to stockpile um, and why you should too. So this is a beautiful antique style filament bulb. It's supposed to emulate the uh, style of um, light bulb that um, Thomas Edison made with you know these these big filaments throughout. Um, and this is an incandescent bulb. It doesn't flash hundreds or thousands of times per second. It doesn't freak out our brain on some subconscious level. And we're gonna look at the color temperature of this beautiful incandescent bulb. So this is my Illuminati light meter. I'm a videographer by profession. And so um, I have fancy tools like this and I need to know the color temperatures of lights. It's very important to me in my work. Um, so I'm just gonna put this right next to this. Um, it's a very, very low um, Kelvin color temperature. Um, and what that means is that it's gonna make everybody's skin tones look amazing because it's basically emulating West Coast sun at sunset makes everybody look gorgeous. Okay, and so so that's out the bag. The light doesn't flicker. It actually has the propensity to, to, to flicker on 120 times per second, right? You got the 60 cycle electricity coming through and so that it's a sine wave every second. So when the 
when the when the sine wave is on, up here in the in the upper area, that's a pulse. When the sine wave is below the line, that creates a pulse of energy. So two times sixty, right? 120 times, but because of the thermal inertia that these these incandescent bulbs have, because it's it's a metal filament that heats up, um, you, the eye actually doesn't ever notice those those pulses of light. Um, it's just one uniform beautiful light that's not going to freak you out psychologically on a subconscious level or haunt you in decades when they when scientists finally figure out oops there actually is a problem with living under this led mandate where we have to have flashing lights all day long all right so that's that's a beautiful one 60 lovely watts of electricity that you'll use for a couple hours, folks, versus the 28,000 because I'm rich and have a bunch of AC compressors to cool down my gigantic house. I, I don't have a big house. I'm not rich. Um, here's a here's an interesting one. This is a beautiful 60 watt globe um, and uh, coming from a video and um, cameras, you know, type background. I know that the larger surface area that you put a um, a light behind the the more even it will it will illuminate a subject's face. So we actually love really large, um, beautiful things like this. So this is coming in at um, about twenty seven hundred Kelvin. Still very low on the spectrum. Very beautiful color. Notice that it says zero green shift. Um, that means there's not too much magenta. There's not too much green. It's just a pure, beautiful, warm light. And then, of course, there's a typical uh, frosted 40 watt bulb. Um, frosted disperses the 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 uh, the light that's coming in at 2700 um, Kelvin as well. Beautiful warm light, easy to dim, great to read by. These are obviously staples in every household. Now let's look. This, this is a GE Reveal LED bulb, and you know GE Reveal line is it's kind of fancy. It actually feels heavy. It's got a lot of circuitry in there. Um, so let's see what's going on there, huh? It looks um, out of the bag. I'm gonna say this is kind of purple. I don't know what GE's thinking with that. Okay, so cool. We got um, we got a, a 20 2700 Kelvin. All right, so we're still kind of close in that incandescent range. But what my light meter here is saying is, hey, dude, you better add some green to that because that's looking awfully purple. Well, wow, that's isn't that wonderful for skin tones? That would be that would be great. And um, if I increase the frame rate, you know, real high, you'll see a lot of banding um, on the image. That means it is, in fact, flickering on and off um, thousands of times per second. That's cool. Um, there's a lot of circuitry in there. So when this bar burns out. And it won't be at 25,000 hours, which of course is how long an LED chip itself can last. Um, it'll be well below that. It'll be in the thousands of hours because the power supplies um, in these stupid things fail. Wow, look at this. A lifespan of a um, 44 watt bulb. Oh, 5,700 hours. I guarantee that this LED will fail before 5,700 hours, as they all do, in my house at least. Uh, here is another lovely specimen. This is another lovely specimen of an LED bulb. Now, I hope you actually get to see there's a, there's a, like a totally like, not even like a subconscious flicker, but like a perceptible, like this thing will just flicker on and off. This has been in my house up on the ceiling far away for a very long, very long time. Um, <clears throat> this is coming in at um, 4,900 uh, Kelvin. So I guess it's trying to emulate daylight. Um, I think it's pretty ugly because my light meter is telling me, uh, dude, you better add some um, purple to that because it's actually coming out kind of green. Um, that's ugly. That is an ugly, ugly light. And it flickers and it's stupid. But that's the new mandate. Stupid lights. That's what our government gives us. So I want to show you, I took off, I took apart a, uh, a really cheap LED bulb. Um, and it's, uh, just to show you what's on the inside. So this is a lot of, um, this is a multicolored bulb. That's why you see the little LED die on there. The are, are different colors. Cause it, it's actually, I mean, it's cool what, for what it does. It's, it's very unique. So this is the, this is the diffusing lens thing. It's, it feels like 
like an Easter egg. That's that's high quality. Um, and then uh, you'll notice, and this is true for for every LED um, light bulb. There's a whole lot more junk than you would find if you were to break open a incandescent bulb. Look at all this crap. Wow. So, um, like I said, the power supply will fail well before the, you know, 50,000 hours that these LEDs could theoretically work. Um, all these, all this junk, these are electrolytic capacitors on this board, um, which are necessary to make it, make the flicker a little less noticeable. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot going on here. So each of these is, you know, made up of, of metal film and an electrolytic, a, a liquid electrolytic compound. Um, I'm sure it's really great for the environment because um, all these are going to burn out um, within the next few years. And then you'll be like, wait, I thought LEDs were supposed to last forever. And then you're going to be like, oh, yeah, oops, too late to find any incandescent bulbs that also lasted just about the same amount of time. Whereas what happens if I what happens if I if I if I throw out um, an incandescent bulb? Oh, look, I see glass. Wow. OK, so that's sand and a little bit of metal, just just a little bit of metal. That's it, folks. Here I got I got metal. I got. Electri I got weird compounds. I don't know what's in them. I'm sure there's there's some some rare earth metals in there, um, and and just just all this all this garbage, right? This is this is so much more garbage, and the light is garbage, and we are being served garbage by the federal government. Just just take it, no problem. So th this one's above my sink in my kitchen. Um, it's on a dimmer circuit. Wow, look at that. Look at that lovely flicker. What, what a good problem to have, huh? That's, that's just not affecting me on some deep emotional level every day. No, no, there, there, there couldn't be anything of living under this, this, this lovely, consistent, wonderful light. Here we are in one of my good friend's um, houses, and here's an LED in, in one of his fixtures. Wow, let's just slow that down and see that lovely, that is actually a t completely perceptible flashing LED. That is complete crap. Here we are in my church's sanctuary where we relamped the bulbs, all the bulbs, hundreds of bulbs in these chandeliers um, just, just a few years ago. And um, again, right, these, these LEDs are rated for 25,000 hours, 50,000 hours. I see one, two, three out on every single chandelier. And if you do the math, that means they literally haven't even lasted as long as the incandescent bulbs life um, span of 2000 hours um, is supposed to be. But this is this is the brave new world that we're being forced into, right? This this lie that LED bulbs, oh, you're going to save so much money. Well, guess what? Not if you have to replace them every freaking year. If you've ever driven down the street before, I'm sure you've seen one of these. So instead of just burning out like the lamps of the good old days, this is just going to like stay perpetually in like seizure land and strobe land. Let's have a rave here in the middle of the street. Um, that's just now going to become a commonplace thing that we have to face. So stockpile your favorite incandescent bulbs um, while you still can. It's not illegal to use them. It's just illegal to sell them. So here's why this legislation is a total piece of crap. So there was a natural attraction to this new technology. You didn't have to force it down our throats. Everyone loves to save money. Number two, energy consuming appliances in American households. So some households don't have washers and dryers. Some households probably don't have stoves. But one thing that all households in America have is heating and air conditioning. So you have these AC compressors. I have a sort of small, moderately sized house and mine uses two kilowatts every single hour. So let's assume my two kilowatt hour HVAC unit is on for 14 hours a day. I know it's on more than that in the hot summer months, but just let's for fun, let's say that. That means I'm using 28,000 watts of electricity every day just to keep my house cool. Imagine how much bigger a politician or a legislature's person's house is compared to mine. 
we're talking like maybe two, three, four, five, six times bigger than my house. That means they have that many more HVAC units. They're using hundreds of thousands of watts of electricity every single day. And so it's the discrepancy, right? It's this legislation that completely misses the mark that's pointless, that just, that just deprives me of this warm light that people who live in northern climates of the world literally just worship and adore because it's, it creates more heat than it does light, they say. Who cares? It's beautiful. But it's, but it's depriving me of that flicker-free, tried-and-true, warm-color, natural-looking ambiance that I have next to my bed for two hours every night. I read by that light, I get ready for bed by that light. There's no weird psychological effect. It's not flickering on, you know, a hundred times every single minute. Why are we being deprived of these stupid, stupid, insignificant little things when the bigger picture is really what's actually killing us? But that's what legislation in the modern world does. It reduces people's choices in such a way that kind of tears down our spirits. So, 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 so what can you do? You can't change the powers that be, um, but you can stockpile your favorite bulbs like I have here. And I guess you can, I guess you can pray for the next conservative president to come along who will uh, say, you know what, I really like the way incandescent bulbs make me look on camera. Um, I think we need to bring those back and repeal some of those bans on incandescent light bulbs. Because folks, at the end of the day, the power of an informed choice is so important and we should always gear things towards empowering people with knowledge rather than just saying nope <laughs> you're not allowed to have beautiful light <laughs>